Hey everyone! Today we're visiting our local fire station. We're planning on becoming firefighters full time next year, so we thought we'd take a tour and learn about how firemen work and live, what they do between alarms, how fire equipment works, and important safety procedures, and the value of smoke detectors. Oh, that'll be digging! Hello and welcome to my fire department. I'm Fire Chief Grizzly. You here for the tour? Yes, I'm Mouse, and these are my friends Groundhog, Cactus, and Alien. Hmm, sounds like an exceedingly motley crew. Why don't you tell me about yourselves before we get on with the tour? Well, okay. Alien, you go first. <sighs> Everybody's a critic. I'm a whiz at mad science who loves technology. I love glitz, glam, fashion, and lassos. I'm an ex-resident of Blackpool who loves music. And I like to eat pancakes and have as much fun as possible. Good heavens. Seems you have a law on your plates, especially for a barbershop quartet. Alright, now I'll show you around. Follow me, please. Yes, sir, Chief. This'll be fun. This is my assistant firefighter, Iguana. He's the most trustworthy member of my staff. See, si, we have a big truck here, senor. It's very important to keep the truck nice and limpio. Limpio, of course, is Spanish for clean. I am a Spanish speaker from South America, senor. You know something? It surprises me that in all four seasons our show is run, We've never met a South American resident. Well, you did today. Dig that dog. Yeah, definitely dig him. I see Grover is giving you the official fire station welcome. It's totally bizarre for a dog to work at a fire station. That's what you think, Cactus. I think it's neat. I mean to see a dog in a place like this. Grover works here, senor. He's a Pero Bombero. And just so you know, Pero Bombero is Spanish for fire dog. A Dalmatian, Grover sniffs out fires to assure us if they're put out. Pero Bombero! Hey, this guy's a poet and he didn't know it. <laughs> yes, see. I think it's very amusing too. On with the tour! And these are our poles. When the alarm goes off while we're upstairs, all we'd have to do is slide down these poles and get moving into action. There is just one problema. The Spanish word for problem. Whenever I slide down my pole, I get a little too abrumado. The Spanish word for overwhelmed. Si, sí, papa. It's way high! Yeah, talk about super high. If I were to slide down something like that, I'd be overwhelmed too. Ah, don't sweat it. An interesting note is that when one of my firefighters landed a job in my staff, he found it a bit scary and overwhelming. But thanks to a little practice, he's braver than a knight in shining armor. Well... Why don't you show us the upstairs area now? Delighted! Here we do a mouthful of activities between alarms. There's gym workouts, a foosball table, a ping pong table, an arcade, a screening room where just yesterday we watched a movie called Firehouse Dog, 
two bathrooms, a swimming pool with a killer whale named Otto, and man, does the list go on or what? You know, Mr. Grizzly, that's quite a lot to fit in a fire station. You know, I'd love to do it all. Me too. There's a computer nearby so I could study up on what it's like to be a firefighter and a ton of other informations. I could play ping pong in an arcade game or two with another firefighter. I could sing a Beatles hit for the firefighters. I could go, on a, go for a ride on Otto the Killer Whale's back. Yup, the upstairs area of the fire department has it all and more. What more could you possibly want? Ay caramba, that's the alarm. You know what that means.